suffering from cognitive dissonance. They are just ignorant. <laughs> Campaign for the Chadondo East parliamentary seat are getting hotter, and the candidates in the by election are coming up with new tricks to win voters. Music is one of them. <laughs> Sitenda Sevalu is at it. Try, try hard, Bwananku Nyingi Mwada. It is not easy these days getting elected to parliament. But as you struggle to enter the 10th parliament, MPs are not happy with the junior lands being surpasses in Amuganza. She reportedly belittled fellow junior minister Aida Nantaba. One time on Anna Mugaza was on the radio, CBS, and she was uh, abusing her fellow minister directly. And the Madam Speaker, the chief whip of government, this matter is escalating. These MPs want Namuganza disciplined. We are demanding that cabinet must be able to take up action on the minister and the president, the, the, the president, the appointing authority, because this is not the first time we are seeing. Uh, honorable persons behave the same way. Madam Speaker, MPs want Minister Namuganza punished. We shall uh, have to arrange to get the recordings because I, I didn't listen to get the recordings and then we shall determine whether the committee should uh, take them up. Honorable Speaker, don't look too hard. We at point blank can give you all you want since this is a matter of national importance. A person like Honorable Nantaba, for example, she lost her name because of her behavior. I remember even when they were vetting her, one of the issues that had stopped her to be vetted as a minister was in this spring. Point blank is at your service, Madam Speaker. So, Honorable Namuganza, what issue of indiscipline are you talking about? Her contact, conduct in the public, talking on phone with head of state as if she's a comedian, as if she's a prostitute, it humbled us. Eee! So, Namugaza is referring to this incident when Nantaba called the president at a meeting in Kayunga to report to him that her Kayunga people were starving. Having followed the news on Friday evening, where the Honorable Minister of Lands passes, Mugaza was calling her friend a prostitute, Honorable Nantaba. Mweshimiwa, have you forgotten that the lady you are likening to a prostitute is a state minister for information and national guidance? She's in ICT, city. <laughs> uh, information and national guidance. Instead, she's misguiding. How is she misguiding this country? How can a minister post a pornographic material on the parliamentary forum? Are you sure? Because I also saw her several times. The members of parliament can agree with me. Posting pornographic materials on the parliamentary forum. Honorable Namugaza, is this the truth and nothing but the whole truth? How can somebody of that nature post a pornographic material on WAPA? The women in parliamentary forum. And some of us who are born again, you feel like I should disconnect myself from this forum. But Mama passes. You should have kept such information out of the public. I think the time for keeping quiet is over. Honorable Seriko, what exactly is the problem with these two young ministers? The problem is the issue of arrivalism. By, by our colleague, the young minister, passes in Amuganza. This is just a matter of village excitement. I think they need to be well initiated. But this issue of also having uh, ministers who de don't even know themselves, the number is overwhelmingly big. Others are just appointed on issues of regional balance, then balance on who was in a Nigina. You are saying Honorable Namuganza is a product of a village Nigina group? Me, I'm not like some other people who were nominated by some other. Me, I was appointed by the president as an LRDC. And in the five or six years I spent there, I was the youngest, first ever youngest LRDC. If they have their differences, if they have problems, let them sort it out else, out there. By the way, do you remember the day Namugaza and Nantawa clashed at the Buganda caucus meeting? Here is the flashback. 
a minister from lands coming to Kayunga with the very same people. That is why I raised my, 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 my voice louder. But Namugaza, the MC, could not allow her. And Nanta fought back. If a minister can't really control herself when people are speaking, then you, you'd rather be an LC1 chairperson. <laughs> you need to listen. We are talking sense here. And we've come here to represent our people. So you have to listen. Nanta <laughs> Nantaba! Munamugaza should have been a village chairperson. So this quarrel is not new. Honorable Minister for Ethics and Integrity, are you aware your colleagues are fighting? When a minister can insult and abuse a fellow colleague in those vulgar and uh, indecent language, we thought that was not mature and professional enough for a minister to do. Honorable, those remarks against your colleague were very unkind. Don't you fear losing your job? Every day they are praying to see the, we don't know whether Namuganda will get out of that ministry. But I'm here to stay. I'm not even about to go. Honorable Namugaza is not going anywhere. Honorable Nataba, we are still waiting for your response since you refuse to speak to point blank. Honorable get out, please. Agnes Nandutu, point blank. <laughs>